Right, uh, this is a, uh, a recording to help you put together the trial balance in the worksheet. So one way you could do it is just to um, print off the general ledger and then write all the balances in here. Another way you could do it is to go to the general ledger, put in here cash at bank, put in here the account number, and then put in here the closing balance and and that'll probably work pretty well but we, we'll look to see if there's any ways you might be able to do that that is a um, a little bit quicker so Here's one way that might be a bit quicker. Now, are these sheets unprotected? Yeah, but let's, if I can, insert three columns here. Insert columns. I'll insert four columns. Insert one more column. Insert columns, which we can delete later. Now, it'll be quicker than turning back the page to go here. then to go to that cell just copying them and then finally to go to the closing balance now originally I made all of these the same length but there could be some variation so let me copy that and now go to this cell and paste let me just make this column a bit wider wider Good, that still works. So, then there, paste, paste, paste. It's still not a quick process, but it's going to be much quicker than it was before. And paste, paste. Paste. Doesn't look what I did. Paste. Um, I'll make this smaller and I'll fit more on a page and it'll be quicker. Paste. Paste. I guess you can see what I'm doing, so I'll just stop this for a dirt, pause it for a bit and I'll do the rest. Okay, I've worked through and finished those off. I'll make the screen a little bit bigger. Now we've got one more step and see if this works. I'm going to sort and this is where you can potentially have problems. You've got to be very careful how, how you do this. Go to data and go sort. and go sort by column K. Now I only want to sort these smallest to largest. This should work but never can tell. Um, has this worked? No. So I'll have to undo this. I just pause. Now, I've undone by going back here. Um, if I, s I need to make them absolute values before I sort them, absolute references, I think that'll take too long. So there's um, a second option. And I'm going to cut. And here you've got to be cut and paste. I'll cut and paste each of these items to here. Again, this will take a few minutes. So I'll shrink this down so I can get through it more quickly. Now, one other thing you might find practical, just as a suggestion, because of the length of the page, I'm now going to copy um, 
or cut and paste a whole pile under here instead of right to the top and then I'll take the whole group of these and cut them to the top it just saves a little bit of scrolling so I'm down to a count 230 still a bit to go and we're getting to areas tier here where you start thinking about having macros now I'm going to cut that and paste to the top now I'll go down and continue on doing that and I'll just pause it a bit now I'm getting um, towards the end of these another minute or so and I'll have them done think interest expense is the last one just go down and have a look a bit lower oh no there's bank fees so I'll cut bank fees and paste now I'll cut all of these and paste on the bottom now you've got a few choices the way you could go about it now you could you know, effectively leave these here and then put your links in from this page or there's another option we have so just to show you a few more skills I'm going to um, find equals replace XXX replace all now going to take uh, these two columns copy go to the trial balance and going to paste values hmm actually even before I do that let's um just see if we can paste these over here so we've got a check in case we've made a mistake paste values right out here copy and a paste values done and now we are going to find xxx and replace with equals replace all and that hasn't worked very well ah oh, yes of course I should have cut and pasted that's a bad idea um, so let me undo all of that I got equals because it's on a different sheet right I'll find one more thing I need to do equals cash at bank that one so if we look at that it starts off with that so we'll copy that enter and now I'll go find xxx replace well, I just copied replace all and that looks like that works much better now see has it lined up cash at bank 101 income summary has lined up salaries has lined up bank fees has lined up I don't that's all good now this one is a little more complex because the debits and credits are all in one column and this is where it's going to rely on your knowledge of um, debits and credits so I'm going to copy this and 
and I'm going to paste a values in there and I'm going to paste a values in there and now I'm going to go find XXX again replace with the name of the previous worksheet replace all Now I'm going to have to go down and delete um, all the ones not in their normal balance. Right, uh, their normal balance, well this is actually quite easy to do because of the colours. That's a bit, a bit of a pity you don't get the exercise as well as you should. Notes receivable as an asset, so that's a debit. Inventory as a debit, but the contra account as a credit. Suppliers on hand, prepaid insurance equipment or all debits. The contra account as a credit. We've got two liabilities that are credits. Interest payable as a credit. GST payable is a credit. Oh, it's a change. Right out. Oh, that's a problem there. It could be something I didn't fix. Noble Capital is a credit. Noble Drawings. So something hasn't come across there. I've made a mistake, so I'll have to go back and look at that one. Noble Drawings is a debit. Income Summary will have nothing in it. Sales as a credit, sales returns and allowances as a debit. And all of these items are debits. Now, what's my problem with drawings? Go to drawings, general ledger. Drawings. Right, the problem is I haven't copied them down. Hmm. So that equals drawings that was drawings. Um, sales returns and all amounts. Ah, uh, I haven't taken that one out, and I should have. Okay. Trial balance drawings. Right, accounts payable, GST receivable have not come up correct, and um, but I think they are correct except I'm out $684. I know there's something I've not done which I'll have to go back and have a look at. Now this is where trial balance becomes an advantage because you get a sense um, of where there could be a mistake because you know there's a mistake. I divided by two because I could have posted $342 to the wrong side. So let's now go looking for that. Your starting point is to look at the ones that are not highlighted. Um, though we did suspect they might be wrong anyway. I'll start with GST receivable. So let's have a look. Well, it says equals G138 general ledger. G138 is taking out the middle there so there's part of our problem should be G142 that's going to be not quite our difference G142 
Now, it didn't go green because there was an item we didn't um, put in correctly before. Now, we're now $80 out. And that $80 is probably this item here. So, what have we done with um, general ledger bank fees? Right, uh, there's one journal transaction for the adjustments that maybe I've not posted all of. So that seems like a <coughs> bit of a contender. Okay, well I'm still out $80. We look at bank fees. General ledger bank fees. Right, there's an amount there of 80. So that's the balance is right, but there's an amount of 80. So that's let's go back and look at G5. General journal, it's a bit of a deviation. G5, I've posted that 632. Have I? I've said I've posted the interest expense. Let me just check on that. Uh, interest expense twenty two dollars. Interest expense ah I haven't. June thirty. Um, bank rec. Um, a general. We've done the bank recs. Um, the the changes to the bank rec through the general journal. Um, and we've done that because it happens after the end of the month but it is conceivable and especially now as um, technology is getting better to actually do bank rec adjustments in the cash book which is cash receipts or cash payments but let me go here um, general journal $22 that is now posted Now, cash at bank, right, we haven't put that in, it's not shown, it's not been in, June 30, bank rec, it'll be general journal, and um, general journal, $102. dollars Got this in the right spot. $102. Actually, this would be G5. G5, G5. And cash at bank. One oh one. Oh no. Let's have a look at the uh, trial balance. It now balances. Now some of these aren't green, but um, it does balance, and it all depends. Um, these vary because it all depends when the bank rec was done, and um, these were set up originally to do bank rec the same time as the adjustments. So. You should be able to go through and see how your account is now looking. So that's got us up to the stage where we do, where we're ready to do the adjustments. And actually, the video for adjustments is already done, or a lot of the key stuff, and it was in the uh, workshop of week six. So if you go to um, the um, unit video cast, lecture video cast, or podcast, they're in there. We'll call that.